And we're back. Yes, we are. And even the kid is amazed by uh, how beautiful this fucking game looks. Can I drop, please? Thank you. No, 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 I didn't mean to drop in there. Good job. <laughs> He's on his ass. He's like, oh, shit. It looks like the fox maybe saved him because there was leaves around him and that disappeared just like the fox did. There we go. What does the fox say? <laughs> I think he barks and growls. I, I think a fox would be a tight fucking pet. Uh, some people have had foxes for pets. I know. They, uh, there's a, oh, there he is. I found a, uh, I think it was in Russia. There was a person that they did a documentary on that was breeding uh, foxes for yeah. as pets, domesticating them. Uh -huh. um, and going through generation and generation and generation to breed the best kind of uh, traits, traits, like they would dogs. Yeah. Um into them, like not digging up yards and yeah, not, not making burrows fighting and, and fighting like that. not biting and um and they were uh, pretty cool about how they were going about um I guess I can't sing here about uh, domesticating them and uh, I learned a lot actually about taking up different breeds and, and trying to breed in traits and things mm -hmm. like that I think the biggest thing comes down to is vaccinations like there hasn't been enough testing and studying to like for rabies prevention and stuff like that. So even with like the current ones they have, it doesn't fully prevent it or whatnot. Is there a vaccination for rabies? Yeah, pretty sure. That's I, I don't know. I mean, that's what- I'm you not do. saying you're wrong. I'm just saying, I, I actually don't know. I'm pretty sure there is, because that's what they give dogs. Like I thought if, maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe if you, if you get rabies and it's too late, you're fucked, right? Yes, but I mean, that's why we, you give your dogs like shots and whatnot. So like if, they do get bit, they won't get rabies. Gotcha. And I think, like, even still, Man. after they get bit by a wild animal, though, you still have to take them in um, for it. But there's, well, like, yeah, yeah. There's, like, to keep there's prevention it methods because it stops dogs from developing rabies, I believe is what it is. Gotcha. Um, Fucking Cujo and shit. Yeah, which is why they usually just, like, there's nothing for squirrels as pets. Like, they bite you, bummer, if they have rabies. <laughs> I wonder how many people a year die contract of rabies or and then like die of rabies. It. I think it's very little. Like I always, I forget. It's we very have there, we have too, so many vaccinations for it. It's something like if it progresses too far, that's really bad. I'm not even sure what the symptoms. I mean, well, other than like the Cujo stuff. <laughs> I think it's aggression and like it does something to your brain to where it. I don't know if yeah. it's like mad cow. Oh shit! I actually do have air. It's the screen. Oh, it's a little like limb dark. Yeah, it's the. Uh, Ambient occlusion, or whatever you call it. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm, uh, I'm gonna take another dive in there and see if I can find anything interesting. Dive! 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 Dive, Will, will uh, something. <laughs> dive! Dive? <laughs> I don't think that's how it went, but yeah, I don't see anything. I mean, I see a couple little things, but I'm so afraid of how much air I have. I was reading an article not too long ago, especially since Danielle's going to Disneyland and you're diving all this time. Um, they used to hire like girls to be mermaids at Disneyland. Yeah, for didn't a long they time. do that at the? Uh... They did at Disneyland for a while um, um, back in like the '70s. What was that ride with the submarine before they changed it? <sighs> the yellow submarine? No, God, no! I fucking hate the Beatles. <laughs> I know you really don't like the Beatles, which is funny because I like them. I don't like them. Yep. Um, I tried it. He's tried it. Didn't like the taste. <laughs> not a fan. Oh, oh, it's a boar. I do think the Beatles. Just like the Beatles. Yeah. Boring. I, no, no, Piggy, not. Oh. Okay. Those I thought boring he was going to get stuck and I'd have to save him. Those broke down the way for you to get through. Nice. Just like the way they broke down the music barriers. Uh, and thank you. <laughs> and here is your treat. Uh, uh, there you go. You get a treat for helping me out and being a pal. Oh. I do think the oh. Beatles... Yeah, you probably need to goad him into doing those other ones. Well, stop eating. I've got more treats for you. <laughs> I do think the Beatles are slightly... I don't want to say overrated, but I feel like there's only about 10 songs of theirs that I really enjoy. Damn it. And then the Follow rest me. of them, just, they're not as interesting. And go over there! Thank you, Piggy. Whoa, Did whoa, you whoa. know that, uh, though, Rocky Raccoon inspired Rocket Raccoon? It's a character. Uh, did not. I don't know a hell of a lot about the Beatles because I don't like listening to them. <laughs> um, well, they I've have tried. And if, trust me. One of my friends, uh, Andrew, tried to have me listen 
to a lot of their stuff, and yeah. I was not having it. I mean, I really tried. I think we, uh, I think it was actually in this house. We laid down in the hallway. Yeah. Um, and had it playing out of, I think, out of your room. Out of my room. Yeah. Um, and I just listened to the whole fucking thing. They've got some good songs, but they've also got a bunch of stuff where it's like, eh, I'm not really too keen on it, too. Like, I'm never going to be like, they're my favorite band, because they're not. But, oh, no. I mean, Let It Be comes on, like, yeah, I'll listen to that. Oh, this thing drops, too. Oh, there's multiple orbs? Is that what it's doing? Yeah, there's multiple yep, orbs. There I tried to take that old fucking back orb. Back to uh, the mermaid thing, the but fuck? apparently they had to get rid of it because at some point like the male occupants would dive into the water off the boats what and then like try and like hit on the mermaids what yes that's a thing that was a thing that's Uh. why they had to stop it because they're like there's these girls like the girls would just be swimming around in like bikini tops and apparently the men had no self-control and they're just like i'm just gonna swim over it's a mermaid man come on it's worth it awfully silly it does seem awfully (laughs) silly okay i don't know what to do with this orb chuck it so you put it in there yeah, but I, that means I... You chuck oh, it can chuck over it there, over? I thought it was going to break. Nah, you just chuck it over. I think we should get another fucking orb. Uh, uh, duh! Nice. Uh, now you could just jump onto those ledges and then put it up there. Thank you, Sam. You are a genius. You are welcome. You are a genius <laughs> of We've, human being. We have said this multiple times. Most people cannot reach my genius at like intellect. Oh, yes. That is, <laughs> that is far and few between people have the capacity i bet if we bred humans like uh foxes we could fucking take out the traits take out the traits that uh would otherwise give people not genius level i mean sam level intellect fox come back we don't want fox come pablo back. pablo you already killed pablo no this there's his pablo's brother right there. estevan estevan oh no secrets over there um i think i subconsciously just named him pablo because uh Jen's mom has a dog named Pablo. Yeah. That kind of reminds me of this fox. Oh, there's but a there foxy. It is. No, not Foxy. Foxy's a little little butthead. <laughs> there we go. Wait, B? Why would I use B? I don't know. Why would you use B? I don't know. Do you want to let it be? No! No, Sam! <laughs> Why would I use B? I don't get it. I've been using X and it's been working just fine. I don't See? know. See? It says B, but I've been using X and it Okay. It's changing it up. It's uh no, it does the same thing. Oh. I well, don't it said know. X earlier for I guess they indicated it for throwing. Yeah. And then I guess I got a fucking this is one of those multi-step puzzles. Jump. Yep. Ha ha. So grab the one that you don't need. There we go. And chuck it up. I don't know if it yeah, I don't know if it'll go up. So what I need to do is swap these motherfuckers out. Um so I guess B is to set down and X is to throw, but they can be used interchangeably. I guess so. X is the only one that picks them up. There we go. And whoa! No, no, no! Stay on the fucking thing! I think you can set it down. I'm too. trying. So I think if you just go to it and, and then press just, B. just tap B. Wow! It's amazing. And then I take this one. Oh, wait. Can I grab another one? Looks like you can. Oh, Give wait, me that! Or does that bring back the orb you just... Ah, motherfucker. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> the, the ledge, the ultimate enemy of the orb. <laughs> Two inches of cement. It's all it takes. The stoop was too much for the for the ball to overtake. All right. Because we all know down. that stoop kid never leaves a stoop. Stoop kid never leaves a stoop. Yo, get it. Did you know that? Uh, I think it was in Hey Arnold that uh they named the theme park or whatever place they had going on in there. Oh yeah, uh, I remember that. Wanky place. Land. Yeah, Wanky Land. Um. I right, imagine not fully Wonka. I guess I gotta. Whoa, I guess I gotta jump down and maybe see if I can. Thinking about that, Wanky Land probably up. not the best name for a theme park. You know. They tried to. They they claim that it was a play on words for Wacky Land. Yeah. And that's what was going to <laughs> to allow it. Yeah. Um. But there was worse stuff going on. I mean. Hmm. Adult. So I think it's always interesting that so many adults get are like no i won't watch cartoons i won't even entertain the idea mm-hmm. when adults make there cartoons in general like well, it's not I'm... it's not children making children and most of the time like 
children don't just, make children. You're right. There's like certain don't children. <laughs> some children. Do. Oh, some I guess yeah, you're right like too. I've heard of some pretty young parents. Whoa. Um, Whee! Ugh. What was my point? Your point uh, was that uh, some adults argue against censorship for child. No, no, not, <laughs> it definitely wasn't that. Um, I don't except know. unless we're talking like you know the preschool type shows and stuff like that, like. Even shows like Hey Arnold can be appreciated by an adult audience because 90% of the time, adults are like adults and cartoonists and all that stuff. Yes, we'll make it acceptable for kids, Mm -hmm. but we're making it for ourselves. (laughs) Like jokes like SpongeBob and stuff? Yeah, like first and foremost. You like watch the first seasons of SpongeBob. Like, that's just good comedy. That's just a great show. And I think of any age level, those first three seasons still hold up super well. Yeah. I uh, grew up on SpongeBob. Spongeboob. Spongeboob. I mean, Trini. I mean, Vendy. I mean... Someone? <laughs> I think you can grab that I'm now. trying. So just, There we go. Yeah. You Are you going to tell me how to grab something, Sam? Were you just about to tell me how to grab something? I was going to say... So just, just grab it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, I mean, I was going to say, <laughs> if you wait for the little butterfly things, like the Rook, to like <laughs> kind of like come that around work. it... That's usually the signifier that I think that's okay now for you to pick it up, where the game is like registering. Yeah. For you. To there's pick a it up. there's a slight um, delay from when you when the game takes over and when you can control and do stuff. Yeah. Um, which is cool because it gives it a cinematic feel for some parts. But yeah. Where is it? Art team did a there really nice job on like unifying this world. I like the. I'm saying it again. I like the light and the way that they use light. Yeah. It feels very Wind Waker-y in that aspect. Like, they definitely nailed down. You can put it into that keyhole. I get that. I'm just, I was waiting for you to stop so I can make a comment. Oh, And right. say, that's my fucking fox! You give me my fox back! Or is it your dad's fox? No, it's my fox. Or are you him? I am not him. Look, that's Little sure? Red Riding Hood, and I've got a Superman cape. Yeah. We're cosplaying here. Completely different. Yes! Ooh! The king was sad. And then the little boy was sad. They were separated. Um, I assume because that one looks like desert and that one looks like on an island. And I'm going to assume that's maybe this kid's dad because that looks like the kid and he was shipwrecked on this island. That is true. He did wash ashore. Whee! Nice. I'm going to fly like the seagulls they have a- to the sea. Fly like a seagull. Look at my red cape and me. This one is super inspired. This specific moment, very eco. The uh, the long cinematic the, the, pan. The long cinematic pan with the long bridgeway. That's very much Shadow of the Colossus uh, eco. Because like the beginning of Shadow of Colossus, mm-hmm. you're on a long bridge. You're running to an area. It's a cool callback. I like how they they hide that load time. Yeah. <laughs> That's another thing. You know what's actually funny? Uh, Final Fantasy fourteen and one point did like the same thing. Yeah. Like people were like, it was a seamless world. It's like, no, they had really long corridors to mask the load times. There was it wasn't actually seamless. Yeah. What you think of seamless wasn't actually seamless. Because load times are just kind of something you can't really I, get away with. I caught the quick uh, the quick yeah. frame drop while I was running. I was like, oh, it's pre-rendering stuff ahead of us. Yeah. I get you. I get your game, guys. They have gotten That's much some good smarter use. about it. I think Naughty Dog was one of the first companies to do stuff like that. <clears throat> they yeah. started pre-rendering, like loading stuff up as the game was running. Because like they just... <sighs> and they, ever since then, it seems like every studio has kind of adapted well, that it's kind a, of method. It's a clever use to yeah. make it seem seamless, and like there isn't one. So that's and a, not it's a make good you technique. feel like you're waiting forever to play yeah. a game, which is I, exactly what you want. Like you don't want to sit around waiting to play a game. I didn't think I was gonna make that job. <laughs> Just like Nathan Drake. Can I make it? <sighs> I still gotta play that game. Yep, it's good. It's good. Sam, take a second and look at these goddamn stars. Yeah, they're pretty look nice. Look how how small are we in this giant universe? I don't know. We're pretty big because my head is bigger than five million of those. Wait stars. a second. I'm seeing perspective problem here, guys. Seagulls are not almost as big as the moon. Come on. I mean, if you the seagull flew in front of the moon and the seagull was just about as big as that moon. You guys done goofed. Yes, Sam, I went there. X. Time control! I'm not even sure I'm gonna get into that argument. You don't want to. <laughs> hey, there's red girl guy person it thing. Aha! Uh-huh. Oh wait, 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 there we go. Ooh. Okay, so that one's lit. So I need to turn time to get both of them to stay lit. 
Let's just keep yes. going around until they do it. Ah, uh, fuck, I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> or you have to move the statues? Yeah, there's a statue I gotta move. Whoa, don't fall. Yeah, I think I gotta pick up a statue and put one here. Yes, something um, like that. Hmm. Look at that statue, can you move it? Can you interact with it? Trying. No. Can you echo on it? Ha! No, he doesn't. Well, I'm just gonna keep mm. turning the sun. Maybe, whoa. Oh, oh that's wait, a tree. No. I know what you have to do. What? Okay, so you want to change it so it lights up. I think, can you stand on that pedestal? Uh, can you stand I on will be able to once I can. Notice this. how there's a Well, large I'm going to get one. the shadow to land, and then I'm going to stand yeah. on it. Let go. Whoa. Wee, it's me and my king daddy. Yep. Where's my fox, though? I want one for my fox. Pablo. What about Esteban? God Esteban damn. deserves love, too. No. Don't worry, Doesn't. Esteban. I like you. I'm a fan of Estevan. Oh, we, we ascended to heaven. Jesus, you're a lot younger than I thought. There's the fucking person again! He's just chilling. He's waiting for me, man. I'm so afraid one of these bridges is gonna like fall behind me like that one did earlier. I feel in like the game. we're gonna get through this game and it's gonna have another ending like Valiant, Valiant Hearts, and you just be like, fuck this game! Or it's gonna no. be like, I love it! I bet this, this game is is like meditation for me, man. This is awesome. I feel very zen and, and yoga-y and fucking crunchy granola. <laughs> crunchy granola. I do like granola. sand between my toes. That actually thing. brings me to Whoa, a point that I wanted rate. to bring up. So yeah. the other day I had to get bags of ice. I'm um, coming! For my class because they were doing like a little fundraiser for snow cones, right? Uh-huh. So Ooh. I was like, okay, I'll drive down, go to the grocery store that's down the street. It'll be fine. I'd forgotten it was a Trader Joe's. Down, now, down the road? Down the road. And I was like, okay, you know what? 99% chance for one reason that they will not have bags of ice because it's Trader Joe's. Um, Why wouldn't they have ice? They could upsell the shit out of it. You would think they would. You would think it's, they it's, would. It's fucking... Ooh. Uh, this is a nice change of... It is a nice change of, of atmosphere. Of atmosphere. I like the color contrast. Um, I really like bright red against the blue. What do I got to do with the light? I don't know. But I was going into that Trader Ooh. Joe's thing like, okay, I'll find ice. I get like two steps in. I have never <sighs> felt more uncomfortable in a store before. That's really cool. It was oh. the, ooh, you There's might want to get that. There. No offense, like Trader Joe's makes great food. Yeah. I like the food they have there. But I have never felt so uncomfortable in a store before. Like the layout and like the way it was, it was like it was the most barren store I've ever been in. Is that? In the aisles. Is that why? You I were think you just because it was barren? No, it's not even just that. It's like the way the aisles were formed, they're like, everything was on a diagonal and the store was super small. So like they made the store feel bigger by having it diagonally, but it was also like super awkward because you walked in at an angle and then like the aisles were diagonal and there was all these weird bearded dudes like hugging each other at the entrance. What? I don't even know. I don't think that's a that's traditional. Not normal, that's not a traditional Trader Joe's. Yeah, like, Trader that Joe's was a staple. One, that was a, it wasn't a staple. Um, but then like the registers were shoved off to the left side against a wall. So like when you walked mm. out, you would go t into the wall and then have to go back around to come out. When usually when you leave a grocery store, there's like, it's near the entrance so you can kind of go out. Mm -hmm. And just, I don't know, the people that were in there and everything about it, I was like, I just wanted to punch myself. I just couldn't st wait till I could get out of there. And the worst part about it was there was no ice. So what you hate is that Trader Joe's doesn't, I guess I can't get up here, is that Trader Joe's doesn't sell ice. You hate hippies with buns. And that um, is a thing. And you hate uh, Trader Joe people. You hate bearded men hugging each other. <laughs> I don't hate bearded men hugging each other. I just thought it was super awkward that there was like nine of them blocking the only entrance and exit to Trader Joe's. And it's like, I just want to get my bags of ice. I'm going to write a book called Things Sam Hates. Trader and Joe's And it's going to have about them. five pages of just the things you've mentioned that you hate. It felt very hipstery. I, just, I don't know. Something about it. And like, I kind of walking What's through... wrong with that? It's a different place. I mean, it's There's a nothing... different style... Of, I guess. Of, of grocery store. Different side of grocery store that's worse. Just trying well, to How's it worse? Because you Because this find bearded anything. guy's hugging? No, because you couldn't find anything. And like the like layout of trying to get through the place was so hard to like get through people because the way they lined up the aisles and like, we're hip, we're innovative. Oh, was it because the aisles are close? Ooh. 
close together or? Just the way, because there's only one aisle that was diagonally going straight through the arena or straight through, not the arena, through the area. Yeah. It caused one funnel area for everybody to have to go through in order to get to other parts. You couldn't just walk to it the back like, of the way. It sounds like a, a typical design way of, of getting people to be like cattle and drive them to a I'm section not saying where it's the not point of smart. interest is. But it's fucking annoying at the same time. It's really goddamn annoying. It's like I've I just been here. I just want to find where I'm like because the way they had it laid out, it's like okay, the registers are right here, and then there's also the diagonal aisle, so there's not a lot to move, and you can't really get around because people are standing right here, and they're also standing right there. Sam, episode two, Samurai Jack. Yeah. This is it. This is it right here. This is fucking beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty you good. Are, I'm I'm banning you from fucking Trader Joe's from now on. I never want to go back. <laughs> I never want to go back. I hadn't been in there in a while. And I was like going, this is like some innovative moron. He's like, you know what we need to do to aisles? Make them diagonal. It's like, no. There, there is a science behind aisle construction. Yeah, and, and how they design. And the science um, that they had for that store is fucking centers. terrible. No, nah, man. I bet it's. I bet there's a huge reason why subconsciously. I'm it sure works. there's a reason, and the subconscious part of me was like, "Get me the hell out of here! How do I leave? <laughs> you, I've never felt so uncomfortable in a store." I bet what ever. happened was you saw someone with a man bun, and Actually, you were just like, "My buns. entire day is fucking ruined." <laughs> I didn't see any. Can man I jump? Can I jump? You can make nice. It. I didn't see any man buns. I bet you saw it earlier in the day, and you're like, "That's mostly, it. I'm it gonna go into Trader Joe's and women. hate life." <laughs> But I just went in there and the atmosphere and everything about it was like, I'm sure some people love it here. I have never- Danielle loves Trader Joe's, I she think. Do she does love Trader She buys stuff from there all the time. Yeah. I always think it's funny that Trader Joe's like, we're a healthier store. And then you look at the calorie count, it's like, not really. It still can be healthy with calories. It's just ingredient based. Yeah, but most of the stuff, it's like you look at it comparatively mm. to some other supermarkets and you're like, mm, like Safeway, it's like, Mm, it's not not really. I mean, depending on what you shop, like yeah, Safeway will shove Cheetos at you, and you mm. may not find that at Trader Joe's. But half the time, it's just like I don't know. They oversell themselves. Hmm. I think that's just a stigma people placed against them on their own. Maybe minus the uh, zucchini water or cucumber water oh, fucking God. controversy, whatever that was. Am um, I missing just one what is somewhere? It, guacamole bread. I think. Gua oh, guacamole toast or uh, guacamole avocado to toast? Avocado toast. Is that a Trader Joe's thing? I don't know. Probably. If it's a, if it's in an anything. I think it's you a just hate. Thing. I think you just hate. There it is. God damn it. <laughs> um. Maybe hate uppity what? people. Uppity or, people. Or what oh, would yeah. you consider? Hundred percent. Hate uppity people. Can't stand them. I think. I think you just don't like people who. Maybe have a like preconceived, I've, like, I'm better than you, chin high kind of notion about them? Yes. That um, is 100% correct. I think you might actually put that on some people, though. That might just... I, some of it might be on you, dude. <laughs> I think I think, you, I think your first impression of some people kind of goes a little bit my not point, into the truth. I Wee. read people very well. And I don't I, know. Yes, I, don't I do. Know. Ah. Anybody that you don't I, read Samurai I, Jack very well, I mean, because uh, episode one and two is the best ones. I didn't say they weren't. I didn't say those weren't the best ones. <laughs> I'm just teasing. You. I didn't. I know. I, I didn't disagree with that <laughs> argument though. The first two episodes ah, are. I the can't best see around the corner. In that series, uh, for season five. Ah. Every yes. every person I've ever met, I've always given the benefit of the doubt the first meeting, mm -hmm. but I've always had a gut feeling. But I've always given them a second chance. And my gut feeling has always been proven right every time. Every time? Every you time. You are like, we can count the stars on you. You were so accurate. I'm telling you, I can get a gut feeling. <laughs> I get a gut, gut reading on people whenever I meet them. And I know it's like, if I will like them. The only exceptions are right. if they're really drunk. Am I, what's my zodiac sign? What's your zodiac sign? I don't care about that bullshit. Well, what well, the damn! <laughs> that's hor like that's horoscope bullshit that doesn't actually. You you were gonna read me. You wanna do you do palms? No, I don't do palms. <laughs> well, what do you do? Do I get to give you like tea to like no. throw down like and I then said, you gauge it? It's a gut reaction. Voodoo like, bones. What do you use? Twenty eight years of like just like gut reactions and like I know when I'm gonna like be a friend with somebody or if something's gonna click or if I'm just not gonna like somebody. And every time it's always been proven right. And it's not ever been like, I love did, to give people the benefit of the doubt. Because what, I'm, what I was saying is that 
Did Were you proven right, or was that a confirmation bias based off of your preconceived notion about the human being, or no. the situation, or whatever? Oh, don't fall. Don't fall in the pit of Hades. Um, I was going to say, uh, the, uh, the guy that we keep seeing... He's wearing like the coolest red uh, cloak, and nice then cloak. he's got like Vanta black, like the blackest black you can wear over the rest of him. Yeah. Um, he's an unlock. He's an unlock character. He's a lock character. Maybe. Uh, we're gonna pause it here, guys. We will see you tomorrow. Later. This world is pretty fucking rad. So uh, next time, be boop boop. Vanta, V A N T A. Vanta black. I guess I think is Vanta that like black Onyx is the black. Is it's that the... like we're gonna have a list of blacks and start naming all no, the no, different no. types I'm, of black? If I'm are. correct, Vanta black is the blackest uh, substance that you can possibly make. It absorbs like ninety nine point nine 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 percent of light.